Greetings everyone and welcome to another moveset with commentary. Today we have number 52 which is... Ooh, which is Shink Sai and oh boy, you can see her panties while you are running. That's... that's distracting. <laughs> Alright, so Shink Sai. <laughs> um, let's look at her. Square and air. Alright, and triangle. Mmm, nice. Very nice. All right, square string. Okay, definitely nice square string. Ended with kind of a projectile or shockwave, call it what you will. Um, so now then, first special or triangle. Uh, I call pushing back the enemy. Yeah, because you kind of push them back with your shield. Eh, mediocre attack. Uh, first special I call launching the enemy because it's launcher and it's kind of problematic to come up with names for launchers because everybody has fucking launcher and they are usually boring and I'm like there. Uh, <laughs> I'm running out of names and ideas. Uh, or that was me like before like two years. The, the, those names are actually quite old. You know, uh, and Back then, I didn't even know that I'll one day become a YouTuber. Am I even a YouTuber? No, I'm just a guy who uploads videos. So, uh, second uh, special I call advancing without hesitation. And yeah, it's quite nice attack. Yeah, because green. Yeah, Alex Lizard, predictable guy who likes big boobs, butts and green. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, and the third special is her first X and I call it no fear so yeah uh, this gives you buff and without the X oh yeah kinda launching attack alright uh, her fourth special is her second X and I call it dominating the battlefield So yeah, quite cool, isn't it? Without the X. Sorry, that was third. One, two, three, four. Yeah, like that. Okay, um, and her fifth special. Yeah, that's really badass. She tosses the shield into the air. So that she can use her full strength in her both arms to fucking cleave you in half. Cool. And by the way, now that I think about it, I thought that this attack is unique to Lu Lin Chi in Dynasty Warriors 9. But no, it's it's from Xing Sai all along. How blind I was. Oh man, that's that kind of sucks. Uh, well, whatever. Now then, R1, aka weapon change. So yeah, like that. Now then, horse string. Alright, nothing much. And special. And special, I say, Shink Sai, be a good girl and listen to Papa Alex. Nothing, that's weird. Ah, oh, like that. You're disobedient little, little, little rascal young lady. All right, so then Storm Rush. And oh boy, oh boy, I said that I'll get distracted by her panties. I forgot to show you her rushing, her rushing square, which is really good. It's like that. How cool is that, huh? Freaking cool if you ask me. You know that I love tossing around your weapons. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this is the Storm Rush. Eh. Nothing too crazy. And this is the Storm Rush. This is the Storm Rush. Get wrecked. Shouldn't you? before you became playable. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so let's look at her musos. Uh, so her first muso is called Shield Charge. What are you doing here? <laughs> Alright, so her R1 muso is called Comet Strike and it's a grab. Obviously. Alright, so let's see this in action. Are you freaking kidding me? Joshu, get over here! Yeah, like that. Like that. Alright, so now it's time for her uh, air muso, which is called... Um, where is it? Golden Dance. Now, that, that muso has nothing to do with anything golden or dance. Sorry to disappoint you, it's probably mistranslation or I am missing something. Yeah, it's just this. Hmm. Nothing golden and no dance. <laughs> Time for the storm rush! Oh man, I don't want to be part of this as a grunt. Just imagine the impact from the shield. I'm ready to end this. Oh boy, I love her voice. Her low voice. Oh man, I just... She reminds me a bit of Magoichi Saika now that I think about it. A little bit, a little bit. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh boy, oh boy. What is she doing? Uh, yeah. Going like a savage. Destroying everything in her path. Great. Great. Super. Or as Mercy would say, Zupa. Alright, so, you bastard. I'm gonna defile your corpse. Where are you? So, uh, yeah, you might be like, hey, he's way too excited for Shing Tsai to be like 50-something. Uh, yeah, the problem with Shing Tsai is that she's a little bit stiff, you know. Uh, her individual moves are quite good, but yeah, as I said, uh, she, she lacks, uh, you know, that fluid movement. And yeah, by the way, this this muso gives you like this buff that uh, whoever comes into contact with you is dead because you're I don't know because you're dead incarnated I don't know, um, but yeah, that, that's how it is. Uh, so what to say about Ching Sai? If I'm not mistaken, uh, she is daughter of Zhang Fei, which is that drunk guy. Ooh, and you're probably like me. You're like, what? How come that uh, something so gorgeous came out of that man? Yeah, genetics um, is miracle. <laughs> uh, that's that's that. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, back to gameplay, uh, this attack is pretty dull, uh, this attack is also really dull, but yeah, then there's this attack which is quite nice, or this attack which, you know, gives you buff, that's always nice, and then the surfing attack that's just super cool, and the fifth attack is also like very good, I, I like it. Um, so yeah, plus I, I adore her design, I think that uh, she got quite high in my Miss Musso, uh, so yeah, that's it, uh, that's it, I have nothing else to say about her, uh, let's, let's go over to the history department. Xing Sai, daughter of Zhang Fei, so I was correct. Uh, intelligent, far-sighted, and gifted in military matters. She, along with Liu Shan, Guan Ping, and others of the next generation, represented the hope of Xu's future. Um, so, yeah, what to say about Xing Sai? Uh, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, we we we've seen her mother finally, uh, which is 
I don't rem remember her name, but yeah, she shares the same weapon as Shinxai in Dynasty Warriors 9, and it's it's kind of disturbing, uh, because if you look at her, she she looks almost like Shinxai's uh, sister, not as her mother, and then you see Zhang Fei, and then you kind of imagine the intercourse between Zhang Fei, who is this like drunken beast, and mother of Xing Sai, who's represented as this, I don't know, really innocent and frail girl, and oh boy, it, is it me or does it look like a fucking rape when you imagine that? <laughs> um, so yeah, but uh, yeah, back to Xing Sai, so yeah, I like her character. I think that some of her attacks are really cool, or majority of her attacks are cool, uh, but there are like two attacks that are quite boring, and she is, as I said, she feels really stiff. I don't know why. Yeah, she just lacks fluidity, or how to say it. So, yeah, that's Xing Sai. Tell me what do you think about her, and see you next time, my friends. Farewell!